Hello, I am so glad you are here. Welcome to my studio. I'm Julie Torrens. If you are new, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. So today, another scrap busting type of project. And what I'm going to be making are tag dolls, tag like paper dolls, but they're gonna be very simple. So what I have here is just scraps. And I've got my trimmer, but scissors work fine. As a matter of fact, for some things, maybe you'd like a pinking shear, or maybe you would like um, this type of scissors that has a fun edge. That would be fun and good. But I'm just taking some scraps. Now, I made some ahead, so you're not just watching me do this. But I wanted you to see a little bit of kind of what I picked out. Remember when we did these painty scraps, scrap busting? Well, some of them are a little bit thicker and I have found that sometimes they're, they're not often just the right thing for me to use in a collage. But for this, the thicker, heavier ones will be just fine. And I don't even know why I'm so worried about keeping this straight. Short strips, long strips, it doesn't matter. We just, whoop, I bumped you. We just need strips. So that's what I'm working on. So where do you get what kind of other scraps? Um, you know, any of your paper pads that you've got scraps from, just all kinds of things like that. Um, I've got some magazine. I hate to throw that away. I'm going to save it. This was some that I cut out. It was music note paper that I sprayed. Now I'm looking for my project. I'm looking for color. So I'm not doing plain book page or plain music note paper. I'm not using um, just the beiges and the browns. I want color for this because that's going to be the joy of this project. Okay, see how this one is kind of, I'm just gonna go ahead and tear it the rest of the way, there. And that piece is going in the trash. So just be cutting and slicing away. I would say the widest is maybe a half inch and I don't have much of that. Most of them I would say are about a quarter of an inch, but I am not measuring, I am just getting strips. When I was um, doing magazine, which I do have some magazine paper in there, um, I was doing two at a time, but I was mostly looking for color. So that is what is on my mind. Strips of color. And I have a variety. And when it gets too small for me to hang on to, out it goes. I obviously have a few of these and maybe I can even stack these up a little bit. Why not? As my grandma Anna would say, if not, why not? And let's just try to make some short order of all this. So how are you doing? We are in the very middle of May here in Western Michigan and the weather has been spec spectacular. Today it's going to be sunny. It's going to be in the 70s and that is quite normal for this time of year where I live. So I am very much excited about that. Now here is from a paper pad, kind of pale, but I'm still going to cut it up because it it's yellow. So, you know, if I lay it down as I'm doing the project and I think, no, it's too light, well, okay. But for right now, I'm just cutting away, cutting, cutting, cutting. Here's another piece, which I thought this pattern was kind of cool. And I thought that would be cool in this project is to have, because the, the butterflies in it are so teeny tiny. Can you see? So teeny tiny. So even in the tiniest of strips, I'm going to get whole flowers and I'm going to get some whole butterflies. So I thought that would be cool. I'll give it one more on this one. I'm just trying to get it to catch. There we go. <laughs> maybe, maybe I can just cut this one in half and call it a day. What do you think? Think I can do it? Yeah. Okay. So we've got those. 
We already did painty paper. Okay, see, this is just magazine paper. And I admit, now, this is really dark. I'm not going to want that. This side's pretty dark now, so I'm going to get rid of it. This piece, and let's see if I can get another magazine piece. I just, like I said, I'm looking for color. I see there's a dog, and, you know, not worried about that. I don't imagine people are going to be able to look at this project and say, oh, there's a dog, there's a house. There's... No, I don't think so. Like I said, those little tiny butterflies and flowers, perhaps. But even that might be questionable. Okay, I know I can get this one one more time. And like I said, if there's a piece that I'm just not crazy about, I, I won't use it. You know, I realize that I'm cutting these in just kind of a hurry. And that one came out awfully thick. So I'm going to see if I can cut it in half. Well, I didn't. We'll just leave that and see. Like I said, I can always change my mind. Look at this. Talk about color, huh? I thought that was pretty cool. For some reason, I'm getting a little heavy. I don't want them too thick. Yep, like this one better. It's electric to the static electricity to the cutter. Yep. Oh, those are all mouths. That'll be fun. Yeah, maybe I'll, these will be noses. I don't think they'll be recognizable, but then those eyes won't, oh. You want to stay up there, buddy? Just stay up there. I'm not going to spend a lot of time, but I am going to on purpose get these eyes because I think they're, I think that's going to be cool. <laughs> yeah, let's see where we go with this. Okay, yeah, there's the eyes. The eyes have it. This is good. Can I get these two? So obviously, static electricity is going to be a factor, isn't it? All right, this is all dark. How about this magazine piece? I wonder if I even... Nah, that's not going to do anything other than crease. I was going to say fold it in half, and then it'll go quicker. I don't think it'll go quicker. I think it'll just be now with a wrinkle in it which I just think would make it a little bit harder to glue. So I've got glue, um, both kinds of glue. I've got some art glitter glue, which is just a white PVA. It's very strong. I've got uh, my glue sticks and a glue pad. And I have a 12 by 12, one of those 12 by 12s that didn't really send me to use as like a feature, but to use it as the back of my project, I think it's perfect. And this was a paper pad that when my son was unpacking his things that he had, had stored, it was in there. Now, did I buy it? Did he? Who knows? Maybe you've done this project where you've done painting on top of the magazine. And I've got some of that here. And I'm going to chop up some of it and get it in the pile. I've got more of that in the pile already. So I think we're about there. And I I believe completely that you've got the gist of what I'm doing here is just creating some scraps. These are precious. These are handmade. I don't want to try not to waste an inch of it. <laughs> oh, okay. Just a couple more. Here's another one that's like such a, a tiny pattern that I thought it would be cool. Might have been even handier to do this one with scissors. And this one has two sides. So if one side doesn't suit me, the other side will. Let's take these all off. A couple more over here. All right, so I've got a pretty good stack. I only have one more scrap, oh, two more scraps. All right. I'm just going to chop this one right in half. And then this one has a wavy edge. Probably went by too fast. And this one, you know, this is one of those scraps that I have. Oh, these are cute tags that I have had this for years in my small scrap pile. And I'm just like out with you already. Out with you already. We've got other things to do than to store stuff. You need to use stuff. 
Okay, I think we're good. I won't put this too far away. And I'm bringing up my 12 by 12. Now this is just this polka dots on the back. If I was going to put this in a junk journal, I think it would be fine for someone to be able to use as, as journaling space. If, um, if I'm going to use this as bookmarks and things, it'll, it'll just look nice and finished. But I like that it's white on this side because we're going to be doing some drawing. I know, don't be scared. It's going to be very simple. So I think I'll start out with the drawing. And I've not done this project before. I just came up with this in my mind and I thought, well, before I do it all by myself, I'm going to share it with you. Okay, so I'm thinking this is 12. If they're three inches wide, what would that look like? That would be about here. Well, it would be divided by four. Three inches wide is probably big enough. I think it is. So I'm just going to make like a mark at about half. And a, I hope you can see and about half, you know, from here to here, half. And if it's not perfect, it doesn't matter. There. So that'll be my four tags. So how tall do I want them? Well, you know, it's going to depend. But honestly, we can, when I go to use it in a project, I can always cut the bottom off if I made it. So I think I'm going to make them all longish. Um, I want some room for some other features. So I think I'm going to do the same. I'll take my glue book to help me. And just to kind of get a, a drift. I, I need some landmarks that, you know, maybe you do too. And if you want to use a ruler, go right ahead. I have rulers. Not that I don't have rulers, but there. Okay. So four heads is what I need to draw. I'm just going to get the ovals in here. And I even, I'm going to not even start at the, um, at the end, I'm going to start here. And I'm just going to get an oval like that. Okay, so that kind of gives me a bit of a landmark. And yeah, they're crookedy crookedy. It doesn't matter. One might be a little taller. One might be a little shorter. But I wanted to leave the option if I wanted to give them a hat. Okay, so there's my three heads. Now, I don't want the heads to be wobbly because the neck or the throat is so narrow. So I'm going to go ahead and put some throats in, but I'm going to make it so that their hair will also be part of it. And so the hair won't, I'll show you what I mean. I'm all talk. See what I mean? So now the hair is going to be part of the throat. And, and so when I cut it, I'll still be cutting it wide. It'll make sense. And now I'm going to go ahead and just do like this. There. Okay. So let's do these quickly. And I'm just going to put it down like this. And I can always change them up a little bit. And we're not drawing legs, we're not drawing arms, we're just going to do, I mean, you can just leave the faces blank if you want, it's not going to hurt anything. Okay, so there are my three dolls, and I have room for um, hair a, or a hat if I want to do that, and now we're going to start with the clothes. Now, what I am going to do is kind of basically drawing some necklines and I can already see this one is awfully narrow and I'm going to just bring it out a little bit there okay so I'm going to create some necklines but again maybe I'll use these necklines exactly like they are maybe I won't but it'll just remind me that I need to save a space for that area and keep it, you know, the color of the face. Um, I'm, it's not, it's not something I'm going to get too worked up about. Okay, this one. See, I'm looking at my lines here. This one I'm going to widen out. 
And this one, I'm going to widen out. This one, I'm going to widen out. Because I, I want them to take up the bulk of the, of the paper. Yeah, I think I like that better. Okay, I think we'll, I think we'll be fine with this. So now we're going to start making the clothes. And I know for a fact that, like, here is the bottom of her neckline. So I might just start there and just start layering them in, just like that. And down, 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 all the way. So now you can tell me how things are going in your neck of the woods. I've got my glue pad here. And I'm just going to be putting glue stick on here. One of these is really low. Is this the really low one? Yes. So I may only get a couple of strips out of it. What's going on in your world? Have you been doing some art journaling? Or maybe you've started a junk journal? Or have you been doing some watercolor? Or what are you doing? What's going on? I'm very, very interested. I'm going to grab a little card in case I want to give it a little smooth down. What's happening in your world? I can get this one up there. As I said, our weather is beautiful. Yesterday was Sunday. So I had a busy Sunday, a very good Sunday. Sunday is church day for me. And it was my grandson's baby dedication. So that was fun. I got to see some family that I haven't seen in a long time because we were all quarantining ourselves, especially with the baby. But he's getting older, he's getting stronger, you know, not feeling like he's quite so delicate. I am not going to spare I, at all these uh, glue things because I don't want these narrow little strips to get all gluey and they won't lay down. I'm going to put, because this has that cool edge, I want to get that edge up there. Now, I am... If they overlap a little, I, I don't care, but I'm pretty much butting end to end and I'm pretty much butting them up against each other. This one I overlapped, but um, it's really up to you. Whatever whatever you feel like, you just go for it. This, this one has a, a wavery edge, but I'm just gonna see. I can use it, sure. Okay, I mean, I knew I could use it, but in that spot. Glue stick is way too low. I'm not going to play with that. Got a new one. So we had a nice visit with family. Um, some of them I honestly haven't seen in, in two years. So that was great to just have that sweet fellowship and all there for the same reason. And it was just fun. It was just all all together fun and inspirational and just great and um well saturday you know i get home from work from my nursing job at eight o'clock in the morning after being up all night so saturdays are kind of a resting day for me not complaining that's just the way it is because i work every friday night okay so those two do you see that they're marrying up. I'm just going to put it down here and let the chips fall where they may. Let's give that a press down. Okay. It'll work out. Okay. I'm not trying to be really picky, but just kind of grab these pieces. And yet I don't want like up against like if I can avoid it. I know it's going to happen from time to time. It just its kind of the natural progression of things. But I'm trying not to have too much like together if I can avoid it. So that was my weekend. Today's Monday and I'm here with you. Yay! 
my YouTube channel is still just in its infancy. So if you like or enjoy what we're doing or if you feel like it's helpful or educational, if you would go ahead and give me a like, do it now so you don't forget, but then come back because I'm so glad that you're here. But that does help my channel really well. I am working towards retirement and I'm hoping that I can have my art be part of my retirement. I know that I will do art, but to help me financially as well. So I'm just starting this venture and I'm feeling like it'll probably be a year, I would think, for me to get the thousand subscribers. If you would decide to help me out with that, it would be greatly appreciated. How can you help? Just by watching my videos and subscribing. And so uh, then for the, oh look, this is that those little butterflies and the other side is navy blue. So we've got a little bit of both worlds. Um, I'm thinking I need a 4,000 watch time hours. And you know, that's a lot. That's quite a, that's quite a, a feat. And so I'm thinking that could take maybe two or three years. I, I just don't know. But just, you know, if you kind of look at where you're at and try to forecast where you'll be, that's what it's looking like to me. Now, someone who's much more experienced in YouTube than I am, they may say, no, no, it's going to be much longer. Wouldn't surprise me. I, I sincerely don't know. And I wedge a piece in here like that. Yes, that would be fine. I'm not going to put glue on the whole thing because obviously I'm not going to use the whole thing. But and did I glue it to the table a little bit? Just, I'm going to cut this one off. There. And then I can just hurry up and put it someplace else. Yeah, that'll work. If you have a YouTube channel, please let me know in the comments because I truly would, would love to see what's going on. I do not subscribe to the idea of like for like or subscribe and, you know, you subscribe to me, I subscribe to you. No, I mean, I don't, I'm not trying to beat the system or anything like that. I, I don't think that's profitable to anybody. But I do watch a, a good number of artists. Um, Terry, not Terry, Nikki has been kind and she has shared in the comments some of the artists that she also follows and I have found that to be great help. I probably watch, well, I can't say probably, I do watch YouTube pretty much every day because, you know, you can pick out a, a, a video of some kind or another that's anywhere from 10 minutes to, to two hours, just depending. And I, I do watch the majority of things are, I would say, art-oriented. But there's some news things that I like to watch. Now, you know I live in Michigan in the USA. And uh, it's fun for me to watch 60 Minutes Australia. They have a YouTube channel. And to just see how someone else this piece has a very thick white strip in it. Um, I'm just looking. I, I'm not crazy about it, but then I have to ask myself, why am I not crazy about it? No, it's, I don't like that white stripe at the bottom. Um, it's fun to get another perspective regarding the United States coming from Australia, just how they report what I see going on in my news, in my local news, my state news, my national news, and see their, their spin, their take on it all. Everything from how they think the president's doing to, you know, maybe if we've had a natural disaster and how we're taking care of it. 
um, how we run our medical compared to them. Of course, as a nurse, that interests me a lot. So yeah, I like to watch that. I'm not just watching all artists, but I would again say the majority of what I watch is artists. And I'm interested in what artists you watch. Give me a give me a recommendation or leave me where uh, your channel is. And I will be more than happy to take a look. This is going pretty fast, huh? Look at that. We're getting this covered. And I like it. Um, I, I'm wishing I had a little more color. So I'm going to try some different strips here and see if I can add some more color. I mean, I thought I was grabbing color when I was chopping up these strips, but I don't know. I'm seeing a lot of green. Maybe that's the springtime in my eyes that wants to see all this green. I am enjoying it. I, I admit that completely. I like winter, don't get me wrong, but we just are coming out of a long winter. And so, and being outside, just, it's refreshing, right? Well, where will you fit, buddy? Over here, how about that? So let's see what I can do about some of these littler spaces. Hmm. What about this side? Okay. Put it down. There is a person, I think his name is Gary Bembridge. He's in the UK, but he does a channel all about if you want to cruise, cruise ships, the food on cruise ships, I mean, just everything related to cruising. And I just find it fascinating. I've never been on a cruise in my life. It's not something that I picture myself doing. You know, I'm all for never say never, but it's not something I picture. But I think he came up because I was looking at things having to do with the virus. I mean, and, and I've been watching him for a couple of years, but there was, you know, and I think that was a topic that he had going on. And so that's why YouTube gave it to me to take a look at. And I thought, huh, who is this guy and what's he's about? It is fascinating. Now, if you're an avid cruiser, um, you still may find it valuable because he talks about how to get the best deals, when is the best time to book, um, just all of that. I, I find it fascinating. And for someone who's not a, a cruiser, He's, he's very interesting. Plus, I see, you know, he's got a lot of uh, scenery and from the places he went on an Antarctic cruise. It's fascinating just to see the cruise people, the, the staff, as well as the guests that were enjoying the locals, all the, uh, the penguins and the seals and just all that. It was it was fascinating. It was it was wonderful. So yeah, I like to watch good old Gary talking about cruising. Very fascinating to me. Not much to watch cooking channels. And I think I don't know, but if I had to analyze it, I think it's because when I was a younger person, Cooking shows was one of the things that we had. We had Julia Childs. We had the Ga Galloping Gourmet. We had um, the Louisiana Cooking Guy. I mean, we just, we, it, so I already kind of had a, oh, I left a little space. That's all right. Um, I already had a, a little taste of, of all that in my growing up years and all. So now I'm, I'm just looking for, you know, something a little bit, a little bit different. I'm just filling in some of these little gaps that I've created. And again, I'm, I'm trying to pick the, 
the pieces that have color. I did pick up some more magazines because in a recent video I did about how to how I harvest magazines, I harvested the very last magazine I had in the house, which is great. I mean, again, I, I don't have room to have a, a library's worth of magazines. So for me to use up and, you know, move on, it, it's good for me. I just don't have the space for a lot of that kind of storage. You know, I was looking at my trash. <laughs> you know, I have, a, I have a trash right here by my work table. And I was thinking how when that grocery bag, it's a, you know, a grocery paper bag. When that gets full, if I instead was going to have to turn around and store that, I can't. I mean, I'm, I'm glad it's going out the door because I just don't have the space. And, you know, I don't just throw things away and because I also don't want to have to hurry up and buy a bunch of stuff. But I uh, get my magazines right now um, from the library and they're 10 cents a piece and they're, they're great. They have a variety. I tend to pick out the magazines that are kind of home and garden and I'll pick out cooking because you can get some pretty cool uh, ephemera from cooking magazines, but I don't sit and read them. Every once in a while, I'll see something and think, oh, that does look delicious <laughs> and I'll, I'll grab a recipe, but it's not my, my goal when I'm grabbing a magazine from the library. <laughs> Oh, like I say, never say never, right? Cooking for one can be challenging. And I am frankly more lazy about it than anything else because I just think, you know, why dirty all these pots and pans and have to wipe down the whole kitchen for one plate of spaghetti, you know? But I do cook because it seems like anything that you're not cooking it's pretty hard to find healthy. Now, my uh, my son and daughter-in-law, they did try one of those uh, subscriptions where you get um, some food on your doorstep and then you cook it yourself, but they send you the recipe and all the ingredients and all that. And um, they... they tried it before the baby was born with the idea that that might be a help to them while well, my my daughter-in-law who is a good cook she just said by the time you did all the chopping and dicing and slicing and you did a saute pan and a roaster and a um a bo couple of three bowls and she said it, it it didn't feel like it was saving her the least bit of time and it certainly wasn't saving her any money she said the recipes were delicious the food was fresh and good, but she was looking for time saving and she was looking for, this is all those eyes. I want to put them up top. She was looking for convenience, speed, and she didn't feel like that. You still have to go to the grocery store once a week because there are some fresh things that you add. Um, I'm not that familiar with it, but... I just know for them, it was, look, look at this. What was I doing? It's black and almost all black. Ugh. I want color. Here, I got, I see some purple peeking out here. That'll be good. Have you ever tried any of those or are you doing it right now? One guy that I watch and it's, he's, um, his YouTube channel is called Think Like a Horse, <laughs> but, um, he's, he's, I've not seen a bunch of his, but I've seen several, and it's fascinating. Um, but he lives on a ranch, and I believe he's a retired police officer or something having to do with that type of, of security. And um, he he was demonstrating the cooking and the, and the eating of uh, one of those subscription boxes, and I, he loved it. But I could see what my daughter-in-law was saying just in watching him. That, you know, 
I thought, boy, buddy, you got a sink full of dishes and uh, some hand washing as well as your dishwasher and all that. I, I saw what she was saying. I don't, I, I guess I'm just saying all that. And you're thinking, shut up, Julie. Um, I just, I just don't see it for me. I really don't. Now, a lot of people say, well, you know, you can buy and freeze, buy and freeze. Well, for one thing, I don't have a microwave. And when you're reheating, a lot of times the convenience of that is the microwave. I don't want a microwave. I have no problems with them. I'm not saying everyone should get rid of their microwaves. No, please don't quote me as that. Not at all. But for me, it would be quite a sacrifice of counter space. And I, I don't have that much counter space. And I am trying to get away because before I moved here, I did have a um, microwave. And I was doing too many frozen meals and that type of thing. And it just, just wasn't the healthiest for me. I'm not telling you what to do. And if that's what you're doing, good. But it just it didn't work for me. All right. So I'm trying to save some of these necklines. We're, we're up at the top pretty much. I don't know if I'm going to glue things all the way down to the bottom but I've decided to come work up here now <laughs> so that's fine uh let's see another piece of this yellow maybe oh I'm sticking to my scraps here Okay, this is too thick, too heavy, too bothersome. Let's get some of these thinner strips and kind of work them in around the shoulders and the neck and that kind of thing. All right. Let's see about this piece. It's not going to be perfect. It's not a perfect science, but it will be fine. I'm concentrating a little bit now, and I know every time I do that, I get quiet, and I I know that turns into boring YouTube. <laughs> oh. Well, I know that my daughter-in-law had gone out to try to get some, some plants, you know, for her yard, and she said they are so expensive this year. And, you know, I'm sure it has to do with shortages. We've, we're experiencing a lot of that here in the U.S. And it has to do with, you know, supply chains and just all that kind of stuff. She's going to have a very strange neckline, I have a feeling. It's okay. She'll be fine. Yeah, I felt bad because she just loves her garden and what a nice hobby and what a nice, you know, way to unwind at the end of your day if that's something you enjoy. So uh, I, I was I was feeling a little bad for her when she was talking about that. But, you know, she's she's got the right perspective. She's not going home and going to bed and facing the wall. <laughs> she's she's okay but yeah you know it's something especially if they're telling us to stay home again they're not but not far from here they are so yeah if, if that's on your program that you've got to stay home I'm trying to see where I could put this little wedge then gardening can be an outlet and I would just hate for that to not be available to folks. But what are you gonna do? Just take it day at a time. See what they're telling us day by day. How are things where you're living? 
Is everything still open and you can enjoy things? I hope so. I hope so. All right. I'm kind of pausing because I'm, you know, coming to the, the point where, like I said, I'm up in the neck area and I'm not exactly sure what to do. Yeah, what do you say about that, hmm? Ooh, I've got a blank space there and there. All right, how about this guy? You can go down here. Okay, glue stick, calm down. Calm down. Here and here. And a little piece. Now some of these are overlapping as I'm doing these edges and it doesn't bother me a bit. I still think you get this pattern of being flat this way and that, and that was my goal. It's kind of like order out of disorder. Um, you know, I don't want, I'm not going to put any vertically. I'm keeping it all horizontal. I think I put one piece in there vertically by the shoulder, but I, I think it's small enough that it's not going to make an impact. What I may need to do is just get like one of these scraps and kind of draw in a neckline and then just set it on there. And I know I'm going to have hair, so maybe I'll just do like this and like this and cut that out and just kind of see what I have. <laughs> These things are sticking to me. It's it's warm enough that I think um, even though I'm I'm not feeling particularly overheated, my body is causing me to I'm sorry if I was not where you could see me. Um my body is sticking to the strips of paper. I know my fingers are sticky from the glue stick. All right, let's see what this does. See? See what I mean, Jelly Bean? And I think I can just cut it a little bit shorter and glue this on. Let's see what we've got. I'm, I'm piling stuff up on top of my glue book. That's not brilliant. Okay, you go away and let's get rid of this, this very sticky page and here we go okay tomorrow is my grocery shopping day so I'm gonna have to kind of think about what my week's gonna look like when it comes to my dietary needs <laughs> okay now that one stuck and fell right to the floor. Okay, what about her? I mean, boy, I kind of really filled her in a lot. I don't know what I'm going to do about her. We'll see. I could just put this here and then just kind of see what she looks like when I cut her out. How about that idea? I could even like... Put a flower or something up here. I did bring out a little bit of ephemera in case I wanted to do something like that. Buddy, you need to stick. Oh, mmm. Give you one more chance. Where's my, where's my rubbing thing? There. Okay. Oh, and look. That, you know, that is heavier. It's not like a magazine sheet. So I'm not surprised that it's trying to take off on me a little bit. Okay, so I need just a little triangle right here. And um, that's pretty much no color. How about this one? Maybe this way. Well, 
it's handier this way, isn't it? Okay, I'm just going to cut it right here. With all of this busyness, when I drop a piece on here, it gets hard to see. It gets lost. <laughs> okay, I want to do this the right way. Okay, I think I did. What? Ugh. All right, glue it over here. No, I, my fingers are so sticky, I can't tell the front from the back. No, I had it right the first time. All right, well, I know what that means. That means I need to get a baby wipe and wipe these fingers down because I'm just becoming a glued up mess. Here I thought I had put it on the wrong side. Nope, I am reaching. Glue stick is convenient, but it can be messy. Convenient or not. All right, so let's just look at this while I do my fingers. And I think I just need to finish this shoulder and something with this neckline. And then I will be pretty much done with, with this part of it. And then we're going to, you know, work on their heads. Oh, I'm excited. Okay, quit talking. Let's finish this shoulder. And... I can use this piece, yes, and I'm just gonna cut it here. That's too long, here, okay. Gluing the correct side and putting that right here and that will work, okay. Kinda looks like a kimono. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. And that one we're calling done. And this one, I think I'm going to take another one of these pieces and draw it in. Make a shoulder. And then make a neckline. It may be too deep. It may be not. Let's just see. There goes my air conditioning, so that tells you it really is a little bit warm. And you know, if you're not familiar with Michigan, it's humid here. We do get a higher humidity. I lived in Arizona for 20 years in the desert and where the humidity was 55 and, and people were dying. No, <laughs> no, it, that is not the way it is. Okay, so I... I did cut this just a little too big. How can I fix it? Well, I know I can just erase that line. How about that? Ding dong. Okay. All right. I'm just cutting a little bit of that off the bottom and I'm gonna put it on. I didn't realize how gluey my fingers were till I now cleaned them off and what a difference. What a difference. Okay. Excellent. All righty then. Next step. Well, I'm going to move my glue st stuff, put my lid on, and these strips, I'm just going to try to move them aside. I am not going to dispose of them because depending on how this project turns out, I may make another one after after I say good afternoon to you. We'll just have to see. Okay, so I think I'm going to just get brave, get my Sharpie and get going and not not worry. Now this is a fine Sharpie. I'm going to give it a little test up here. Ooh, it feels a little dry. Feels a little dry. I have another one, so let's just see. Now I think that is the wrong. Let's see what this one is like. Oh, drier. Am I back in the desert? What about this one? All right, let's give this one a go. Okay, so I'm going to start out by just some basic eyes, little nose, 
and just a little smile like that. Eye, eye, eyebrow, eyebrow, just keeping it simple. And I'm going to give her some hair like this and then just down here. like that and I'm gonna fill in with around her throat and bring this out like there we go see just a, just really simple not not going crazy okay this hair I, I put this in here so that you could see a little bit of what my vision was but I'm gonna go ahead and I want it to be a little more organic like her. So again, I'm going to just an eye, an eye. She looks a little tired. That's okay. Little nose, different kind of mouth, and like that, like that. And again, I'm going to give her some bangs and some hair. And I think I'm going to make her hair. She had some hot rollers in. What do you think about that? And just fill her in like that. And down on her shoulders. And remember her neckline. I just wasn't sure what's going to happen. Well, I think that's going to be her neckline, just like that. And give her a little chin and give her a defined neckline, maybe a few curls towards her face. Okay, there's number two. Here's number three. And give her an eye, a little nose, happy girl. Eyelashes, eyebrow, pretty. Okay, so what kind of hair is she gonna have? Um, I'm not gonna give her bangs like those girls. I know maybe these are still bangs, but, and I'm just gonna give her this kind of pin straight hair. Like that. I think she needs a little more hair over here. And who knows, I may put hats on them. I may not, not sure. Okay, number three, and here comes number four. <laughs> Who's gonna fall out of my pen? Well, sideways part is, and maybe She'll be with her hair out like this. There, what do you think? Hope you can see what I'm doing. And an eye. Little nose. Little sideways smirk. There, how about that? I think she needs eyelashes. Yeah. There they are. There's my beauties. What do you think? So let's cut them out and see what they look like. I've got my scissors. 
So I'm just going to find, I'm going to turn it upside down. Should I do it on the trimmer? Ooh, I don't, it may catch and snag. I, I'm going to go with scissors. I don't care if it's perfectly straight. And I'm going to head right at the edge of this shoulder. There. Okay. Now, this one. Hmm. Her shoulder came up a bit. I can trim it. I'm not going to worry. I'm going to do this. Just cut right through. And cut right through here. Okay. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Let's grab one and just cut out her shoulder. And now I'm going to cut. And I'm not going to fussy cut. I'm just going to make it as wrinkly as her hair is. You know what I mean? But I'm not... I'm not cutting it out strand by strand, and I don't think that's necessary. And then see, I'm just gonna take this and bring her shoulder down, and there she is. <laughs> okay, let's have another one. Can you hear the laughter in my voice? I just think these are going to be so fun. There's number two. And we're going to add some details to them just to help them look like dolls. Now this one, I kind of left some spaces, so I may have to just fill in a few spots on her. I'm gonna get rid of some of these scraps because like I said, they, they're so busy that they're, it's hard to see what's, what's on them. <laughs> Last one, are you liking them? I've honestly, I've never made anything like this before, but I just was thinking about using up some strips and some magazine and just all that kind of stuff. I just thought this would be a fun project. I'm going to try to link, I've never done it before on my YouTube channel, to some of the people like Gail, Agostinelli and Carrie Griffin and I hope that they can see I'm gonna I'm gonna try or maybe hashtag I don't know what I'm talking about something like that and um, because there's some of the YouTube people that I watch and I would love for them to see some of my projects okay so you know I realized that one of them has some white space on the edge. I'm going to leave that be, but I am going to trim up all the bottoms and I am going to get my trimmer for that. They're plenty long, so I'm just going to trim up the bottom. And then we'll just see about a tiny bit of decorating, okay? Can you hang in there with me for that much? And I don't want to cut much off the bottom, but just so that the white isn't showing. There's one. This one has more white, but that's okay. Two. This one needs a little trimming. Let's just, there, that's fine. And this one. It didn't take as many strips as I thought it would to do the 12 by 12. So I definitely am going to make some more of these because I, I like them. I think they're cute. I think they're fun. I'm very excited. Okay. Now, if someone was going to tuck this into a pocket in a junk journal, 
look how the backs would be. Wouldn't that be fine? Sure. Or if they're going to send these off as bookmarks, you know, they're done. They're beautiful on that side. I, I like them just fine. But what are we going to do about the fronts? Okay, so first thing I'm going to do, she has some stray marks with pencil. And I'm just going to erase it. Will it take it off 100%? No. And I, I don't really mind that people can see my working lines. But I just want to clean her up just a little bit. I don't want it to be distracting. And she's got the same thing. Just a little bit of cleanup. There. Okay. So, I got this little bit of ephemera from some that I was making recently. And I thought before I put it away, maybe this would be fun for this project. Like I was thinking, you know, that's it, it'll be too fragile. But, you know, maybe like there. Okay, I like that. And maybe it could be like a little heart pocket. That would be cute. And what about this one? It's kind of big, so I think maybe towards the bottom would be nice. And I did bring out my uh, faux postage. And maybe this last girl, I'm just going to grab a few and see if I like any of them. Okay. Well, what do you think? Again, it could be like her pocket. I'm not crazy about that yellow, and that is way too matchy that I don't think it shows up enough. How about that one? It's kind of red like their designs. Okay, I like that pocket right there. I think that's fine. Okay, let's glue those down. I'm going to use my art glitter glue because I just feel like with all these, uh, you know, bumps and lumps, I'm just going to go ahead and put the art glitter glue to glue these parts down. I did test this to see that it was working. Because you know, if you've seen my videos, this can be a little bit tricky. Okay, let's put this one down. And where's my little smoother? That's good. And this big old flower. Let me know in the comments what you think. Okay, it was working. Now it's not. Let's get the pin. Let me know in the comments what you think of these dolls and if you might give them a try. I think they could be awfully fun. Well, I know they are. I just made them. I think they're very fun. And, you know, like I said, you don't have to draw faces. If that, Get a magazine face and stick it on the top of all of them. Or, you know, there's just so many ways that you could handle it that you're comfortable. Just, just leave ovals at the top. Remember, we did a... Um, some dancing women and they just had ovals for faces. Gorgeous. You know, sometimes less is more. I do believe that. So do what is in your comfort zone. The idea is that you enjoy the project. Honestly, if I enjoy a project, if I can turn around and still use it, <laughs> that's even a bonus. But for me, it's just so relaxing and, and so fun to be with you and to work on these projects. It's just great. There. Okay. Now I have one more thought. Frightening, huh? I don't think I'm going to put anything in their hair. But I do have this. This is one of my bags that I use for traveling around. Not, I mean, not like, not like going on vacation, but if I'm going to be sitting somewhere and I want to do a project. And in here, I've got some watercolor pens with water in them. And I've got just some, I'll show you, these kinds of markers. So I was just going to grab like a couple of, of pinks, maybe those two. 
and just give them maybe some cheeks or some lips, just a little something. Now, where is a white scrap? This is that paper, and I'm just going to test it because the cap, yeah, that's perfect. The caps don't always tell the story. Kind of a fleshy tone. I like the pink. Let's start with the pink and see where we go. I'm going to leave that in case I decide to pull another one. Now, I if if it gets too heavy, I can take my water brush and move it around a little bit. I'll get one out just in case I find that I'm having a emergency, but I think I'll be able to handle it. I may even just make circles like that. Yeah. Okay. Great. Just to give them a little spark. One more. Okay. Well, I hope that you found this helpful or fun or a project that could help you as you do your art. I can barely get the cap on this glue. Can you believe it? I just don't know what I'm doing wrong. Those of you who use art glitter glue, what am I doing wrong? I even added this cap to try to like not just have a pin, but have more coverage. I don't know. Anyway, I love the glue though. <laughs> there they are. Here's our ladies. I'll give you a close look at one of them. Please leave a comment, a like if you liked it, and I will see you in our next video. Bye.